Hello everyone. In this video, let me guide you how to remove drive letter on Windows 11. Actually, there are a couple of ways that you can use to simply go ahead and remove a drive letter. Let me start with the classic method and then we are moving to the uh, latest version. So first you have to press Windows X on the keyboard. It's going to open this window or you can just simply right click on the start menu. Following by that, you have to go ahead and open the disk management. Uh, so in my case, if I have to check there is there are two letters D and C. Now, if I wanted to remove the D, all I have to do is just simply click right click on that to change drive letter and now remove and as you can see now it is hidden as simple as that now people are using it for security reasons and some other are using for different purposes so it depends on the person who wants to use that now if you want to assign the letter again you have to go ahead uh, assign and choose any other drive letter for that and now simply click ok and you will notice that the drive will appear again there okay if it that does not appear you have to refresh that so as you can see this is a simple now the other method that uh, you can use it uh, using the settings app that microsoft has uh, added these there now all you have to do is open that uh, go to the system and now go to the storage following by that you have to scroll down go to advanced storage settings again you have to scroll down and this time you have to go to the storage sorry uh, go back go to the disks and volumes from here you have to select one of the drives that you want to uh, remove its letter in my case how about the d again go to properties from here you have to select change drive letter and now from here you have to select instead of e none and click ok and the drive will be hidden again so as you can see it is gone if you want to restore that again go ahead change drive letter uh, assign and d and as you can see the drive d is now uh, back okay the other uh, classic method that you can use is using the disk part or you can set the cmd method all you have to do is press windows r on the keyboard or you can just simply right click on the start menu and choose run it's going to open this run dialog box now here you have to type disk part d-i-s-k-p-a-r-t now press enter and now once you are here you have to simply go ahead and type uh, this command the first command is to simply go ahead list volume from here you can see all of the available currently active uh, volumes inside your computer in my case i'll be trying to hide the drive d which is volume one now you have to select select volume vol number one and now press enter as you can see that is selected now you have to simply go ahead type remove so as you can see drive d is completely gone now to restore it again all you have to do is just simply type assign So as you can see drive d is now back please keep in mind that never ever type here uh, instead of remove type clear if you type that uh, sorry clean because if you type clean it's going to wipe everything in the drive without giving you any warning since uh, you have given the disk part the administrator privileges uh, that's why it is, it is not going to give you any warning now the last method that I have in mind is using the uh, PowerShell so that is, this is also a very powerful method first you have to go ahead and launch the PowerShell so once you launch that you have to simply go ahead uh, type get disk without any space Now it is going to show you currently all of the available disks attached to your computer. So as you can see, the disk uh, number is zero. So following by that, you have to again type get disk uh, followed by pipeline and then get the partition. You want to find out how many partitions are currently available inside your computer. Now press enter. Get disk. Okay. There is a... Uh, this part is wrong get disk for is not the thing because our disk number is zero you have to type zero and now press enter and as you can see it's showing you all of the currently available disks uh, inside your computer so uh, there is the drive c and then drive there is the drive d now if you want to hide that you have to just simply go ahead select all of them uh, i mean the command from here you have to go ahead and replace each one of them one by one for instance uh, the disk number uh, that is uh, actually zero as you can see you have to replace that 
disk 4 with 0 and then the partition number as you can see the partition number in, in our case that is 5 uh, and then the access path uh, is D you have to just simply type them and then press enter is going to hide the drive uh, using the PowerShell so these are the four simple methods that you can use in Windows 11 to simply hide drive in Windows 11. So I hope this video was helpful to you. Let me know if you have another method that is more useful compared to this method. I'll uh, basically embrace the knowledge. For now, have a nice day. Goodbye and I'll meet you guys in the next video.